Welcome back to Around the World, the game show about geography with your host, Richard Darian. <laughs> Hi again, folks, and welcome back to the final round of our show. I'm your host, Richard Darian, and here are our contestants. A computer engineer from Seattle, Washington, Marlene Miller. Marlene has 300 points. And next to you, we have a high school teacher from Boston, Massachusetts, Ted Simmons. Ted currently has 400 points, and he's in the lead. And our third contestant is a cafe owner from Vero Beach, Florida, Lily Chen. Lily has 300 points, so she's currently tied with Marlene. Oh boy, this is going to be an exciting game, folks. Let's get on to the final round. Our categories are cities, deserts, islands, mountains, and rivers. And question one for 50 points is rivers. Fingers on those buzzers, please. Which is longer? The Nile River in Africa, or the Amazon River in South America? Ted. The Nile. That's right, 450 points. Ted now has 450 points, and he's still in the lead. On to question two. This one is worth 100 points, and it's on the topic of mountains. Fingers on those buzzers. Which is higher? Mount McKinley in North America, or Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa? Marlene. Mount McKinley. That's right! You score 100 points for a total of 400. <laughs> Watch out, Ted, she's gonna catch ya! <laughs> On to the next question. Now worth 150 points. Question three is cities. For 150 points, what is the largest city in North America? Marlene. New York. No, good try. Ted. Los Angeles. Ooh, sorry, Ted. It's not Los Angeles either. Lily. Is it Mexico City, Richard? Yes, Mexico City! And Lily scores 150 points, and now she's tied with Ted. Oh! <laughs> On to question four. Question four is deserts. This is for 200 points. What is the largest desert in Asia? I'll repeat the question. What is the largest desert in Asia? Ted. I, I know this one. Uh, oh, it starts with a G. Uh, uh, go, 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 Gobi! Yes, the Gobi Desert. <laughs> You have 200 points, and your total score is now 650 points. Whoa! That's the bell. This is exciting, folks. I think it's time for our last question, worth 300 points. The contestant that gets this right wins the game and also our grand prize. Our final question of the game is on the topic of islands. Okay, contestants, get ready. What country is sometimes called the island continent? Ted. Is it Antarctica? Sorry, Ted. Antarctica is sometimes called the frozen continent, but not the island continent. Anybody else? Is it Hawaii? Ooh, sorry, Lily. Hawaii is an island, but not a continent. Yes, Marlene. What's your answer? It's Australia, Richard. Yes, it is! And Marlene is our winner! <laughs> okay, let's find out what Marlene's won! And tonight's prize is a weekend break for two in one of the most exciting, beautiful, and fascinating cities in the United States. It's... Seattle, Washington! But I live in Seattle. Okay, so then you know what a great place it is. Until next time, that's it for me. I'm your host, Richard Darian. See you next week on Around the World.